today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the armor set in spur gear. Um, since I could not find a lot of videos out on the internet on how, I thought I'd show you myself. But this does work on the um, armor set in um, BLXs and the armor granite BLX. Um, and it also works on the Megas with their easy pull tab. Easy. Um, easy pull tab right there. Um, and it's not hard to do. So, yeah, let's get going. Remove this. I'm just gonna pull. Oh, no, it's gonna be like. It's gonna, I'm just gonna pull back from the gears and then pull it out. It's telescopic and it'll just come out pretty. Start off, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go under the chassis. So, go under the chassis and you're gonna wanna unscrew that screw which is right there i already did it this is taken out um yeah so i'm you're gonna take out that screw which then releases this your probably won't be silver mine was too um and then it's just gonna release this you pull it out while this is still here while this is still there we go while that is still together with the spur gear and everything inside and then once you do that you're gonna i use a butter knife um well actually what i did is i went like this i just pulled up it is kind of difficult to just pull up but don't pull too far as long as you start the bot like to move it out then you can use a butter knife and get in here and then push it forwards and it'll come out first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this screw this screw and this screw while it's attached to here and remove the spur gear. This is not the greatest video because I already did some stuff, but it should give you the right concept. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stripped out spur gear and you're gonna remove all the pieces. This won't come out too easy. You're gonna take out the red, this red piece, the spring, the, the nut and that. And then we're gonna get going on to the next. You're going to take this, your pad, you are going to line it up with the holes. End up with the holes. You are going to take this. Take this. You're going to place it in. Oh. Next thing you're going to do is take this piece that it comes with. Flip. And then you're going to take your bearing. And slide it on top so it's all the way down. And then take it and slide the short side. Oh, when I say short side, I mean the short side of the black. Um, piece with the long side of the red um, piece. Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to slide the red piece in and then line it up with the hole so you can slide your pin in. I'm gonna do this off cam camera because it's very intricate and I cannot hold my camera and do it at the same time. Next thing you're gonna do, well actually if you were wondering how I did it, I just used some of these pliers. I'm gonna say needle nose. 100% sure. Um, you can also use these pliers, needle nose, they work as well. Um, and I just put it in and then kind of just shook it till it came through. And then, yeah. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take the spring that it comes with and you are going to slide it on. If you do not have enough room for the nut to slide on, you probably have your space, like for the nut to start screwing on, then your spacing is probably wrong. So here I have it on good. Um, and I just gotta tighten it up and I'm gonna do that off camera as well because it's hard to hold and do. Um, so yeah, it is not too hard to screw down. Once it gets down super tight, not super tight, but pretty tight, then it gets kind of difficult and then I just use some pliers. Um, but how tight I like it is when it comes stock, this is almost stock, I guess. Like the, I'd say this, cause this tightens down the slipper pad or something. And it just, I thought it was a little bit too loose and then the gear would always strip. So I didn't like that. So now I'm making it tighter. So I still got to make it a little bit tighter, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it almost like no space in between the coils, almost no space. Maybe like a couple millimeters, but that's it. Assemble it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and slide it into the motor plate thing, motor area. 
with the um, nut going down, you're going to just make sure that it's in there good. And you don't have to worry about the gear meshing because the pinion's already set where it is. So my hobby shop did it pretty good for me. Um, so yeah, next thing you're going to do is on the next thing you're going to do is you're going to slide the other plastic piece, just slide it right over top. You're going to tighten down these screws. Well, you're going to put them in first. I hand tighten them until they were pretty tight for my hands. And you're going to use um, the tools that came with it. I don't have any special tools. This is from my felony or from my X Max. I can't remember. Um, but I think it's for my felony. It's okay. It's whatever. Um, and then you're going to tighten down all the screws. And then putting that together will be done. Okay, so once you've got it all screwed in with your... Um, with this all tightened up, it should be good. And, and that all screwed down. You should be able to just slide this on. Not super easily, but with some ease. I'm going to do it off camera so I can just do it So, once you have this pushed all the way in and it's pretty solid, you're going to flip the... Tr yeah, you're going to flip the truck over. And you are going to grab your strap thing. You're going to screw it in here. Push this in so it slides in into some grooves that are here. Um, it's not hard to do. It was pretty easy. And now you're going to grab your screw and then screw it in. Now for the final part and piece or piece, whatever you want to call it, of the puzzle. You're going to slide your strap in into the body down here. Well, I guess there's two more pieces to the puzzle. You're going to slide your strap down in here and pull out and then now the final piece of the puzzle you're going to slide the fat end on no you're going to slide the skinny end on first you're going to compress it and then gonna wiggle and then it's in see and then you got four wheel drive and i'll show you well, not, I'll show you. I guess this wasn't too hard. Actually, no. The the final piece of the puzzle. This is the final piece of the puzzle. You were going to find the... On mine, it says A, B, and C. So I'm going to plug in my A port into the first hole. There. And then my B port into the second hole. And then my C port, and no, that was my B port. Um, my C, this is my C port into, no, this is my B port into my B port, and then my C port into my C port, and then it should just about work. Here, I'm gonna move this up. I really hope you guys can see. Okay, so I can plug this in. There. Then turn the controller on. Then. It works so far. So the steering works. Now I'm going to try the. Oh, that was a tough one. I'm now I'm going to try the. Seems to be driving forwards. These tires are nice. <laughs> Not anymore. They're so bald. Um, comment down below what tires I should get when I get some new tires. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And hopefully you didn't find it too hard and difficult. Because I certainly did not. Um, so... Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below, and hit the bell notification thingy so you get notifications when all my new videos. I try and post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. As always, 
Remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification, like, share, and comment down below your favorite part of the video. Thanks for watching.